The South African apartheid regime's failure in Namibia is well demonstrated through the vast areas that were controlled by the Namibian People's Liberation Movement, better known as PLAN. The PLAN fighters, part of Swapo's military wing, liberated these areas. Every inch of the vast areas controlled by Swapo in the north and eastern parts of our country was fought for to free it from the yoke of the colonial regime. The former South African army had total support from NATO states and it is for this reason that the plan fighters' success came as a hard blow to all imperialist powers in southern Africa. It was in September 1965 when the Southwest African Liberation Army established its first training camp on South African soil at Omuhulu Wambashe at the time. Swala numbered only about 250 personnel, most of whom were still undergoing training at Kongwa. The insurgents at Omuhulu Wambashi succeeded in recruiting only about 30 locals before the location of their camp was attacked by the South African forces, demolishing it. The attack on the training camp in Omugulu Wambashi marked the first military battle between Plan and the South African forces, hence the importance of this day in Namibian history. The first bullet fired on the 26th of August 1966 at Omugulu initiated the start of a bitter 23-year-old armed struggle. Many Namibians inside and abroad contributed to fight the apartheid regime. The former South African army was however more equipped in military warfare sponsored by some Western countries. The apartheid military force waged dirty propaganda against Swapo's military wing and any military force opposing apartheid. The war waged on for so long that to some, the picture of independence started to become dim and dull. The attack on Kasinga was the enemy's final attempt to derail independence for the Namibian people. Despite lacking proper war machinery, plane fighters retaliated on the battlefield with success. However, it's very important to remember that before the total liberation of Namibia was reached, many battles were fought and many sacrifices were made. Thank you to the heroic people of Namibia and the solidarity with all peace-loving people of the world that enabled Namibia to achieve its independence. Namibians continued to pay homage to the selfless contributions of these heroes and heroines who spearheaded the liberation struggle and gave their lives for our freedom.